so really bad. Oh, I should have taken it. Still, still not much effort. I'm going to be doing a new gym. We are going to the stage and take a last view in before we do leave. Um, we are going to walk off now. I have already just recorded a vlog here. Um, yeah, we're going to set off now. We're going to walk down some of uh, the streets here on Trafford. I think there's some good rules which we're going to hit one. There's definitely an Eric Canton on one which I'll try and show you on the vlog. Well, on the video, but yeah, we'll be exploring Old Trafford. The area this time, not the actual stadium. But yeah, what stadium it used to be in. As you can see in the background there, it's literally the best stadium to visit in the world. Um, if I do go quiet for any period of the video, but yeah. So yeah, let's talk to Sandra Martinez now. The rumor well, it's been confirmed that he is flying back to Manchester as we speak to prepare himself for the for the Brentford game, which is next week, um, next Saturday, I believe. So listen, there's a huge, huge chance for Lissandra Martinez. Um, Now listen, we need all the players we can get back. So having this Andrew Martinez is a huge, huge boost for Manchester United. I do certainly think he has the quality. And the fact, like, listen, he went over to Argentina to kind of do some more re rehabilitation. Um, probably got to go see some family as well. But it's great to have him back. I mean, it's been, what, a couple of months now without this Andrew Martinez in the team. And I think it has a huge impact. Our defence has already been a bit misshaped as it is. Without no Luke Shaw, no Maguire, Maguire slowly entering coming back so having this Andrew Martinez back in the team uh, is massively important I think the quality that this Andrew Martinez does have on this Manchester United team is crucial I mean he's, he's the only player who can kind of play the Ten Hag system and understand it really really well from a defensive structure I mean when you are Ten Hag himself he said his three most important players are Luke Shaw Martin they're three players who we've been been without for massive portions of the season to not having them in the squad has been very, very disappointing. But I do certainly think that having Lissandro Martinez back, what he does do for us is, it's game changing. I mean, the quality that he shows on that pitch, whenever he gets on the ball, he's, he's a passionate player. And that's a, it's a huge boost for Manchester United. Having him back in the squad gives a lot more quality defensively. Um, I think he's built a really, really good partnership with Varane, um, which is nice to see because I think Varane needs a solid partner next to him. Varane's obviously aging a bit and he needs that comfort beside him. Yes, Lindelof does offer that. I think Martinez does offer a bit more than that. Um, listen, when you have Martinez next to you, you, you know you're kind of going to be safe. The guy comes out of anywhere and make random challenges which do help us. And listen, let me talk about the centre-back situation now. If Manchester, I put in the, previously I've said Varane should leave. But if they don't extend this contract, like this, it's going to be, it's going to be a lot of criticism. There's no, there's no uh, concrete talks with him to extend them, according to Fabrizio Mano. Um, I don't know why that is, because it's fantastic. Um, and he offers so much for this Manchester United team. So the fact that we are we're not, we're not having him in the team, it's really, really disappointing for us, and it's really, really sad to see. But yeah, what happens with the Santa Barbara situation? We don't really know. Um, hopefully, it can get resolved very, very soon. We do need something to happen there. And yeah, let's see what happens. But we've got kind of been a quick update on the Santa Barbara. As I, as I said, hopefully the Sandra Martinez will have a huge impact on the team and I think you've got that ball playing ability that he brings is sensational for Manchester United and I do certainly think the quality that he has is, is much needed for us at this time with, with certain players missing our defence hasn't looked good and I think what he does add as well is that mentality listen, we know Veranda uh, a top mentality player but that defence has looked dismantled with the additions as well of Juan Masaka coming back the low can play our left back Martinez coming back for this Brentford game it's huge, really, because, listen, it's the small things. Like, having having Martinez, who's been our key centre-back, we've wanted to sign him, we've signed him, that a key role to play in our team. Listen, that's all you want to see. And I think Nathaniel Martinez knows that, and he offers that in abundance. Um, so, yeah, really happy with him at the moment.
Let's see what he can do when he comes back from injury. I think we got we got to be cautious as well. You don't want to rush him back from injury and then he gets injured again like what happened last time. But you certainly do. He is a player that you want back in the team. ASAP, so yeah, bit of an interesting one there with Lissandro, but it's coming in from various reporters that he's flown back. Argentina, he's gonna be in the squad, hopefully in the team to play play the game at Brentford. We need him. Brentford, the tough game to go. We need. We got some huge games coming up. Semi finals, semi finals that we're gonna need him in. So yeah, it's gonna be. Really good. I think we've missed him as well. The, the mentality, the passion, the way he's so Yeah, listen, it'd be great to have him back. We're going to cut the video here, guys, hopefully. And um, you've enjoyed it. We've talked about Alessandro Martinez. As I said, I did a vlog going around Old Trafford. So go check that out, please, if you if you can. And yeah, this has been the video. Don't know how long it's going to be because I don't even know if you can hear me. But yeah, this has kind of been video talking defensive situation. It's a huge boost to have him back. Let's see what happens in the future. But yeah, let's literally listen. Sanjo and Varane back, massive, massive. What we need right now, Eric Ten Hag to get his job and to survive, his, keep his job for me. That's the thing Manchester United should be striving for. And let's see if we can do that. Thanks for watching. Peace.